What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so, well, the last episode was pretty interesting. We caught ourselves another legendary Pokemon, and, uh, well, we're going to continue on our little side quest right here by, you know, finding some new and interesting spots. Or, better yet, just, uh, what was it called, uh, just exploring places. Exploring a lot of places just because, well, we are now able to, and, uh, let's see. First is first, there is a bone that I needed to pick with, and that is that we're gonna go back right here to the Mirage Forest. If you remember correctly, guys, um, this was, this was actually the place where we forgot to use cut, and now we're gonna, we're gonna actually cut a place right here because there is an item that I do want to grab and that is this I don't remember what kind of a pokeball it was but it was something and uh, if you guys remember too we caught ourselves two Pokemon Adinu and uh, Adino and uh, what's which we call it Sunkern I believe yes so let's see what else have we forgotten nothing nothing okay so uh, let's see if we can find one more Pokemon here for all times sakes and all that stuff and no we're gonna be finding ourselves a Sunkern so yeah, we're not doing that. We are gonna be going. Yeah, we're we're gonna be going. We're gonna be going away because we don't need to waste our time right here. Anywho, let's see. What else can we find? What else can we do here? So, after winning the eighth badge, you are actually able to, you know, climb waterfalls. So that is exactly what we're gonna be doing right here. Is we're gonna be going straight to what was it called um granite cave i think rust turf uh fall arbor town okay so let's get the heck out of here yeah buddy okay all righty look at that okay so the good thing is that we actually replaced a few pokemon from our team just to make this whole thing happen um let's see there is a spot right here where you can actually you can actually uh, go through a waterfall. So that's what we're going to be doing. Checking up every single waterfall. See if we can actually, like, you know, find some cool doodads in here and there. Well, checking the waterfall right here. So let's go right ahead and get on to this one. And, yes, we did teach waterfall to Gyarados, or what was his name again? Hydra. And right here, you'll be able to find yourself, bam, a rare candy. I don't know if we're going to... I don't know if we're going to need that. <laughs> well, we might. We might need that. Probably. I don't even know. Okay, so let's see. That is that right there. And, well, let's see. There is a little something interesting right here, too. Now, if you go into this general direction, you talk to this gentleman, he's going to be like, welcome, welcome. Uh, okay, so what do you do? As you can see, I sell stones. I sell rare stones that I collect by, uh, by myself on, on this riverside. What stone would you like to buy today? So, he's got quite a few. Loneliness, Withered Tree, Emotionless, and EBB Tide Tears. So, let's see. What does the loneliness have to do? And uh, this is the hard stone. Text color and... Uh, okay, suspect... Okay, he's... He he, he's pretty much taking me for all, all my money, and yes, I am not going to do that, but we will be going back to him later on in our adventure because, well, yeah, we don't have enough money for just about anything. We, <laughs> yeah, we're broke, guys, but he is a very, very important p person that you can go to later on when it comes to uh, Mega Stones and all that stuff, so let's see. Let's go right ahead and... Let's go right ahead and go straight into the Meteorite Falls because there are there are areas right there where you can actually go on a waterfall and, you know, there are Pokemon trainers there now that you can battle. That would be interesting. That would be great. Okay, so let's get off this. Let's put on a Repel because, yes, we don't want to get attacked by any Pokemon. So let's see. Hmm. Let's go with... Let's see. Did I, did I save any Repels at all? Holy crud. Okay, so... Here we go. A few max repels. And... Well, let's see. Let's go right over towards the back side right here. And, like I said, you will be able to go on a waterfall. And... From there... 
You can just, you know, you can just go up. And here we go. Up and away. And here we are into the next area of the Meteorite Falls. And, well, there's nothing special right here except you, you'll be able to find a lot of zoo bats and gold bats and whatnot. And, well, let's see. Nothing right there. Let's go into this cave and let's see what we can actually find. Look at that. It, it, it's fantastic. It looks great. Unfortunately, we're going to get attacked by a Pokemon because look at that. A Lunatone. Okay, Lunatone. My question is, why didn't Lunatone and Solrock have, like, some kind of variant? A special variant over in the... What was it called? Alola region. I want to know that. And, well, let's see. Let's go with Leviathan, since we haven't used Leviathan in quite some time. And take this item right here. We found ourselves a repel. Thank you. And, well, let's see. We're going to be finding ourselves... Quite a few Pokemon trainers, so let's go right ahead and battle them all so we can, you know, rack up the rack up the cash, you know, so we can buy some important stones. And as you guys can see, this is a dragon trainer. He is not he is not kidding around. He does have some pretty interesting Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and go with a surf attack right here. And that right there gives it a good push and Wow, okay, so I think that's Meteor Fall or Meteor Ma- or I don't even know. Okay, so Dragon Pulse, completely forgot that I had that, so let's go right ahead and use this. Yes, look at that. Heal the burn. Say goodbye to Flagon. And just like that, we are victorious, and Lanoon, without doing anything, grows a level 41, including Latias. And Latias is growing Reflect Type. Let's see what this move is. So, Reflect type is the user reflects the target's type, making it the same type as the target. That is a good move, but I kind of don't want to use it, okay? So, we'll probably have it later on if we want to be strategic or something like that. I don't know. So, there it is, guys. We have defeated a Dragon Trainer, got ourselves some Moolah, and uh, let's continue on. Okay, so, looks like to me we have to go downstairs from here. And... This, well, this area right here, you're going to be going and you're going to be finding yourself some kind of like, uh, what was it called? Uh, some battle girl. So let's go with Gaia the Fierce Knight. And hello, hello. My muscles are trying to tell me something. They want me to battle you. Okay. So we're going to be battling. And here we go. Taking on battle girl Tess. And she's going to be coming out with a mind shell. And, well, let's go with Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. Let's see what we got. Okay, Gaia. Let's go with Psychic Attack right here. And Mind Chow, of course, is faster than us. So he's just going to mess us up. So here we go. Psychic Attack for the pure fighting type Pokemon. And just like that, he has been defeated. Gaia the Fierce Knight grows to level 56. And, well, let's see. Hydra's growing to level 29, which is great. And is learning Twister. So let's see. Take away a Leer, just because, you know, we haven't used it. And, uh, well, there we go. Twister away, and Tess has been defeated. Again, guys, Moolah is, like, we're getting some money. Monies. And, uh, well, let's see. That sounds like another Pokemon right there. And it is a Pokemon that we have yet to discover. And, well, we're going to be going up here, the first level. And I'm just walking by. Hmm. That's interesting. There could be an item right here. Let's see. Do I have an item finder? Let's see. Item finder. Let's see. Devon scope. Uh, oh, yeah. We do have the dowsing machine. Okay. Never mind. Uh, let's see. Dowsing machine. Nothing. Really? It came all the way up here for nothing. And that sounded like a Clefairy. Remember, guys, we already did the, uh, what was it called? The Delta event. So, yes, we're going to be getting some some interesting Pokemon in this general location, too. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be putting on a Repel. Where are you, Clefairy? Now, Pokemon in a cave are very, very hard to actually find. Especially when they're doing that. Because if you're close and you miss out on them, you miss out on them. And as you guys can see... It's a freaking Clefairy, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, I kind of went a little fast right there. 
So let's go ahead and uh, do this right here. And let's see what we're going Oh, yeah, another dragon trainer. His name is Dre, and he is coming out with his good old... Uh, oh, God, okay. So he's coming out with a Pokemon, uh, Altaria. So let's go Dazzling Gleam, see what that does. And the Dazzling Gleam works. Probably should have started out with Altaria or Gaia the Fierce Knight to begin with. And Leviathan, look at that, grows to level 56. And yes, okay, all righty. So we're doing some stuff right there. And why do they have one Pokemon? It is beyond me. And wait, what Pokemon is that? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be mad if it's a rare Pokemon, like a super rare Pokemon. Come close. Yeah, I, I don't know what Pokemon it is. I'm really frustrated that like you know we can't we can't really see what it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and start battling. Let's see. Let's do this. Here we are taking on old couple John and Jay, and they will be coming out with, oh, two very interesting Pokemon right here. Holy buckets. And, uh, okay, so it looks like Dazzling Gleam for everybody. And <laughs> this Pokemon right here is just going to go with Surf Attack, okay? Oh, wow, it's faster than most of my Pokemon. Oh, wow, okay. So here comes Dazzling Gleam. Going to hit the opposing Pokemon, and just like that, defeated. Alrighty. Okay. Look at that. That's how you do it right there. Look at that. Okay, so here we go. Getting some experience points. And look at this. Lanoon actually doing something for once. Grows a little 42. And, uh... Well, that is that. So let's see. Hmm. Is there anything else that we can actually find right here? Maybe one more Pokemon trainer. No, none. So this place will be of importance later on in your adventure, guys. Don't need to, know, to rush it, but yes, it will be of in, in, interest later on, and oh wow, went the wrong way. Holy crud, okay. Let's see. Yeah, I went the wrong way. Holy buckets. Let's see. Where was I supposed to go with this? Huh. I have to figure this one out, guys. It's at the tip of my tongue. Let's see. Oh, you know what? There's nothing of importance right there. So let's go back to the other floor right here. And I think... You know what? We need to go into that staircase area because there is a specific room where you'll be able to find yourself a Bagon. Which, you know, it's unfair. It's completely unfair because, you know, we, we kind of wanted Bagon long ago. If you guys remember my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough, the newest one that I just made, yeah, we finally got it. And uh, wait, that was the same. Oh no, that. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna be going through here. And uh, well, let's see. There's an interesting Pokemon right there. If you go right here, this will be the area where you'll be able to find yourself two important things. One, a Dragon-type Pokemon of this region, and two, this. You'll be able to find yourself the TMO2 Dragon Claw. And, well, let's go right ahead and try and find this guy. And, where are you? Okay, that is not... Okay, so... I remember I just have a repel, and the other Pokemon is in the water, so we're not going to be doing anything right there. Let's go ahead and not do that, and let's go ahead and find Bagon. And just like that, we found Bagon for the first time. And, well, it's not going to be able to... Oh, wow, it's at level 40, so... You're saying there's a chance to beat it. Okay, so let's go with Magical Leaf. And that right there is not very effective, but here comes a crunch attack. Oh, Jeebus. Okay. So we're going to have to try and capture this Pokemon right away because, yeah, we do not want to. We do not want to die here. So let's see. Hmm. It's not quick. Yeah, let's go with the timer ball. It doesn't kill. It doesn't kill me or anything like that. So here we go. Timer ball. And... No, this Bagon does not want to get captured. And here comes a Zen head headbutt. 
Yeah, this Pokemon was not messing around now. Here's another funny thing too, guys. In Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, this Pokemon will not be anywhere near the level it's at right now. But because, you know, in this game, especially in Omega Ruby, you're, you know, it's, it's just a little... It's a little bit quicker now to actually... What was it called again? Um, to grow levels. So let's go right ahead and use another Magical Leaf because this guy is not going to come with us. So here we go, Magical Leaf, and... Uh, yeah, never mind. So there goes Big On. My bad. Anywho, uh, you know what? Let's go right ahead and capture that Pokemon off screen, okay? Like I said before, I know I've been saying this quite a few times just uh, throughout my adventures. Yes. I will be capturing the majority of these Pokemon. I'm going to be up to date. I mean, one episode, like, in one episode, guys, you're going to be seeing my Pokedex just, like, flourish. But right now, I'm just, uh, you know, showing you guys the, the ropes and all that crud. Hell, I haven't even updated my team's, uh, my, my, my team's box and all that stuff. So, let's see. We can't find anything right here except for this. And right here, you'll be able to find yourself a PP Max, the one of its kind. <coughs> and, uh, well, I think that's pretty much it right there. I don't know. I, 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 I don't really know. So, yeah, that's that, that sounds like a pretty good idea right there, guys. I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to try and capture every Pokemon that I can find in uh, the Hoenn region right now, with the exception of, uh, what was it called, um, yeah, with the, ex the exception of, uh, what was the, what was the, uh, yeah, the exception of the Mirage Islands and all that stuff, because, yeah, there are Pokemon right there that you probably would want to see and, and whatnot, so, there it is, Meteorite Falls, you know what, I should just use a, uh, I should just use an escape rope, because, uh, kind of need to get the heck out of here, so here we go, escape rope, for the win. And... Well, that is that. And I don't know why I'm doing that. So, in the next episode, guys, I'm going to be taking you... Uh, let's see, what, 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 what exactly should I be doing in the next episode? It's the fifth one of the, of the, we uh, of the week. You guys are probably going to be like... Like, oh, good old Draven's going to be doing something. I don't even know. I'll probably think about that uh, later on. And, wow, I didn't even know it was that quick, huh? Yeah. You know what? In the next episode, I'm just going to be... I'm just going to be taking visits to places where you can actually go... Uh, go, what was it called again? Uh, go on the waterfall and all that stuff. Probably in another tour before I actually get the ball rolling. And then, hopefully, over the weekend, I'll just capture some Pokemon that you guys would probably want to see. So... Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.